Welcome back, it's Rabies again, with another commentary. This time starring Mr. Whirl, who goes on a 60 gun streak using PDW, laser. I don't know what else he has, but, you know, it's good. He's running non-lethals. For a 60 gun streak, you have to. It's not MW3, too bad. We go on, we use ballistic vests, and don't die. Constant V sets up. Even with constant V sets up, you have to admit. 60 gun streaks are skilled. In my mind, this is technically a double nuclear, just in my mind, but statistically it's not. Which I find it really amazing how you can do this. Yeah, I have a hard time going on long streaks. I can get the nuclear, I can't get past the nuclear. It's like this game personally hates me. And the ways I died, I just. I want to break into tears. I want to fall over and break into tears. This is definitely a long game. Well, not that long, but. Longer than the other one, at least. The way the run, what he's doing, is called farming the hard point. It's a, uh, it. I don't know if that's the exact term. But that's the term I hear from most people. You know, it's not a term I use. I use getting points from the hard point. It's my favorite term. It's not too easy to say that, but you know, four. C4 is my worst enemy in this game. It, it was in the other one, slightly. Actually, I think the uh, Type 95 was, and the Kimbo's. But C4 is probably number three. Just because of how easy it is to use. And if you don't know, double X, or double, uh, uh, I don't know what it is on the PS3. So I guess it's some kind of shape, whatever it is. You know, whatever X would be on the PS3. Detonates it without needing to hold the trigger. So it detonates it quicker. Unless you, I think if you have fast hands, you could probably detonate the same amount of time. But you you could throw it quite a ridiculous range for how I don't know how heavy it is. You know, from what I think it's probably like five pounds, but you never know. I think Overgrown is one of my favorite maps in this game. I just it it brings back the firing range feel for me from uh, Black Ops One. Even I wasn't good at that game, just to note everyone. I, that's something about it. I hear people say, ah, oh, he's much easier. Not to me. Sucked at it. Not sucked, but, you know, that was my introduction to Try Harding. World of War and, uh, COD. F I started on COD 4. Oh, I wish I had clips of me playing. Oh, I, I think I, I, I might actually pass out from laughing so hard. My accuracy rate in COD 4. Oh, oh, oh. It's, it's unbelievable. It's probably how most people were the first con they played. Well, how I hope people were. You know, you, you first play a game and you all of a sudden get 3k and you're like, uh, okay. Either way, moved on to World of War. I got COD 4 when World of War just came out. So you, you could say I started on World of War, but uh, technically speaking, but I like to say I started on COD 4. Mr. World, way better than me. I have to say that. How he holds the stats, I, it hurts my brain. It really does. His gun skill, good. You know, I won't say godlike, although his accuracy is definitely quite up there. My accuracy is horrible. I don't know why. It's always been horrible. Maybe it's because I used to shoot up in the air for fun. Ah, no way. Anyways, stacking the unstoppables. I haven't even paid attention to where he got the nuclear, but. Seeing the hard point, the first hard point of any map, you should actually get all the points you can out of it. Because if you get all the points you can, if some good team, let's say, bad team leaves, good team joins in, you can still lose. I've lost to horrible teams. Well, like two times. It, oh, it hurt me. It hurt me deep down. I might have a funeral just for that moment. Okay, back on topic with the PDW. The PDW might be one of the best subs like MSMC and the PDW are definitely neck and neck especially on 1v1 I think the P MSMC would beat it out just because the MSMC has more damage range I think I don't know if they have the same fire rate I swear the MSMC is faster it just seems it and the way the PDW the way I see it overall the PDW is better the PDW almost the same stats I mean they'll lose in a gunfight no doubt against the MSMC, but 
It's 50 clip is what sets it apart. Oh, the 50 clip. This gun is either good with uh, dual mags or uh, extended mags. Not dual mags, fast mags. It's fast mags on this, but the normal reload animation on this gun just feels like it takes way too long. What I'm hoping to see in the future of this game is uh, more gun DLCs. You know, I know they are. Well, I have a great feel for it. But they, they really need more. I mean, the Peacekeeper, sorry, but that gun is not my cup of tea, you know. It's it's low damage, and it's, uh, what else does it have? Low fire, it is what hurts me. It really hurts me. You just can't use that gun. Even with rapid fire, people are like, people think it's good with rapid fire. Uh, or at least they feel that it's better. With me, nope, no chance. He dies pretty retardedly. And this is I has rabies reporting from We Fear No One.